It's always a pleasure. I just want to thank the chancellor of this university, Rutgers and Newark. Chancellor Kent, I say, you see, I say Newark. Chancellor Kent, who I think is the best chancellor, by the way, in the entire country. Uh, you guys are very lucky to have someone like her. The city's very lucky uh, to have her here with us. Uh, I want to thank every, all of the faculty and staff and the board and, and the folks that are here working with these young people every day. I want to thank all of you who chose to go to school at Rutgers Newark. Um, I wish we could take a picture of this crowd and send it to Donald Trump's Twitter. I know, I know some of you are sharp enough to get a selfie. We can send it to him and we hashtag, this is what America looks like. <laughs> Despite what people may believe, this is what we are. This is what it, what it means to be an American right here in this room. And many of, us, many of us got to where we are from different paths on different roads. Some fleeing injustice from other countries, some fleeing poverty, some free, fleeing lynching and the Klan and white supremacy in the South. We all wound up, wound up here in the city of Newark one way or another, God in history has got us here at Rutgers Newark together. I need to use this opportunity to be the best, the brilliant, the baddest, the smartest folks that you can be using Rutgers Newark as a vehicle to get there. And you have something on your side that you should use. You have a secret weapon and sometimes you don't look at it as a weapon, but I always use it as my own weapon. You're always going to be counted out. You're going to be underestimated. People are not going to think you can do it. They're not going to think you can make it because of where you're from who you are, what you believe, the color of your skin, who your parents are, the language you speak. They're gonna think that that counts you out, but I'm telling you it's a plus. It's an addition. It gives you strength. As a matter of fact, I had the opportunity to start my day off at Garden Spires in Newark, helping to rehabilitate some 600 low-income housing units in this city to put about $200 million to rehabilitate housing in our city. The second stop of the day was at the airport with Governor Murphy, making sure that the, the airport workers had $19 an hour increasing their minimum wage. And I get to end the day at Rutgers Newark, talking to the most beautiful bunch of kids that I get to see. And one thing, and, and, and I go through that because I want you to know that being fair is also being strong. That being just and being right is also mean, it means doing well. You don't have to do good or do well. Now, doing well means doing good. In order for you to go forward, you have to be equal to equal, you have to be fight for equality and fight for justice in order to go forward. That's what you need. And so all of us have to make sure that we use this as our strength. Lastly, I want to say I don't want, I don't want you to just come here and be smart. I know some of you, we're here because we, we want to reach the American dream. We want to get in the middle class. We want to have nice things, go on vacation, not struggle. Expand our, our opportunities, our horizon. Be able to do things that we dreamt about when we were 10, 11, 12 years old. We want to be able to accomplish these things. And I don't want you to come here just for that. And I don't want you to come here just to be smart because we need you to be more than smart. We need you to be courageous. I got a lot of smart people at City Hall, a lot of smart people around me all the time. They did very well in school and have a bunch of degrees behind their name. And they can argue with you until the uh, uh, early morning hours about what's right and what's wrong and what's the proper way to do things. What they lack is the courage to actually do them. We need you to have the courage. We need you to have the imagination to build the plane, but the courage to fly it. We need you to actually do it. We need you to do it. So I don't want you to just speak out against injustice. I want you to create a world that's just. I don't want you to just speak out against inequality. I want you to create opportunities where equality has to happen. I don't want you to just speak out 
against things that are wrong. I want you to create things that are right. Don't just be against something, be for something as well. I want you to build, create, and develop the world that all of us have been waiting to see. God bless you, Rutgers Newark. We expect phenomenal things from you.